Welcome to the channel, human. Three cops and a reporter pursue a murderer who's hell-bent on acquiring sacred scrolls. As they chase the murderer far and wide, they must find a way to take him down before he gets his hands on the scrolls. This movie is an hour and 30 minutes. I was fucking bored the whole time. Now, Ron Hall, the black guy that's on top of the taxi, he is a great martial artist. I kid you not. His talent as a martial artist and as a fighter is jaw-dropping. He plays a character named Nathan, Kung Fu brother. And I'm like, Ron Hall, as talented of a fighter he is, he's not a good actor. His face, he only has like one expression the whole movie. Like he looks very serious. There's not a, there's not a lot of emotion on his face or in his voice. He's able to kick ass. That's about it. And, you know, he helps these, like his character, uh, Ron Hall's character, Nathan, he helps these cops with this asshole who's trying to get these sacred scrolls and achieve ultimate power or some shit. Like, it has all these physical components to it, but it's not executed well, so I just didn't care. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, this movie gets a 4 out of 10. This movie is terrible. There are a couple of cool fight scenes in this movie with Ron Hall, but there also are some fight scenes in this movie that are kind of sloppy and choppy and not put together well. And I feel that even though Ron Hall is not a good actor, you can still utilize him in certain movies and TV shows. You know, just have him in fight scenes. Keep the dialogue down to a minimum because acting is not a strong suit. Just because I like him, doesn't mean I'm a cat for him. You can't be good at everything. He's not good at acting. But there are plenty of shows and movies that need characters that whoop people's ass, that knows how to fight. That's where you put him. The job of a director is to highlight and utilize an actor's strength and cover up their weaknesses. So that way the audience only sees the best of that particular actor. So just because he has a weakness in terms of acting doesn't mean you can't utilize his talents elsewhere. You know, you could put him in Daredevil. You could put him in action movies. It's just that when you couple the fact that Ron Hall is not a good actor, on top of him being in terrible films like this one, it doesn't help his position. And not only that, he's a black martial artist at that. You don't have a whole lot of them that have succeeded in terms of being on the big screen, right? Few and far in between. So that's also an obstacle as well. But it ain't going to help nothing if you can't act and if you've been in a lot of terrible movies. To me, the best movie that he's been in is Bloodsport 2 with Daniel Bernhardt. Now, Bloodsport 2 is nowhere near on the level of the first movie. Let's just make that clear. But I think that Ron Hall shines really well in the context of that film in a way that he doesn't really shine in this film, even though you get to see some of his martial arts prowess. It's just there's a lot of sloppiness to this. The budget is small. It feels cheap. Everything feels cheap. The acting is terrible. There's not a single good actor in this movie, which is crazy. Everybody's acting is atrocious. So you're talking about you have a bad movie with bad actors, not the best fight scenes, some of them choppy and just not really put well together. While others are cool, but you're not really allowing Ron Hall to shine because he's in a mess of a film. Dialogue, terrible. I'm like, I didn't feel any emotions from any of the characters. And the premise for this movie, it sounds kind of cool, but when you watch it, it's not. It's one of those things where even though the film itself is an hour and 30 minutes, it felt like four hours just because I was like, when is this shit going to end? This is a bad movie. So shout out to Ron Hall for being a great martial artist. But brother, this is not the way right here. I feel like you are better than this type of film. And you can be in better stuff despite your limitations as an actor. Because again, your amazing fighting skills can be utilized in so many movies and shows. Terrence out.